money talk. Bro. Here comes the money. Thanks, bro. Money, 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 money. <laughs> dollar, dollar. <laughs> dollar, dollar. Ching, <laughs> ching, bling, bling, bling cut the chatter. You ain't talking money, then you're talking no matter. KFI AM uh, 640, hilarious stuff. Handle here and uh, the morning crew. Uh, Monday, uh, stories that we're covering this morning. No doubt uh, it's going to be uh, the president with uh, Putin and uh, President uh, Duarte or Duterte of uh, the Philippines. Some great stories there. And there was an earthquake in uh, Iraq and Iran right there on the border and Costa Rica. Uh, Costa Rica. It's earthquake day today for some reason. All right. Uh, Guy Adami uh, is with us. We have a uh, uh, couple of stories on uh, Moolah Monday. Uh, Guy, good morning. Good morning, and, sir. And, yes, sir. Uh, and uh, I think one of the biggest, biggest stories is uh, Disney's play for Fox. Uh, what What is this about? It's a huge story, and I appreciate you bringing it up. I'll tell you exactly what it's about. It's in about one word, in my opinion. It's about Netflix and Netflix continued domination. I think... Disney sees the handwriting on the wall. I think they're late to the dance. I think they see the world. You know, you talked about an earthquake. Well, there have been tremors under their feet for the last five years, and they've been slow to act. And now I think they realize they need to compete with Netflix on a Netflix level. So what are they going to do? They're going to have, they're going to roll up as much content as they can. And I think that's why this Fox deal might make sense. Some of their assets of Fox sort of sits, fits in nicely with Disney. And they're going to try to do their own Netflix type of service, their own over-the-top type of service. And they're going to see if they can go against the big boy. But i got to tell you something. As you know, Netflix probably has anywhere from a five- to a seven-year head start. But as they say, better, you know, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best time is today. Uh, why didn't they go after Netflix? I, I said, you know, it's another great question. Obviously, you're loaded with great questions. I said that five or six years ago on our show, and I said it a number of times. D- Disney would be smart to make a play for Netflix. Now, the problem is maybe they wanted to. Maybe they were hoping the stock would get crushed under its own weight, and maybe they just were too cute. But now we're talking about a deal. If they were to go after Netflix, that would be either side of $100 billion, and I just don't think it would make sense at this point in the cycle, and the valuation is probably such that Disney shareholders wouldn't be thrilled. But that was the right move five or six years ago, for sure. Now, when uh, Disney bought Pixar, uh, that was, what, a four or five billion dollar deal, and everybody Mm -hmm. was stunned by how expensive that was. And uh, still, uh, it was one of the best deals going. And then Marvel, and so uh, both great deals for Disney. Mm Mm-hmm. And, I agree. Uh, okay, and uh, and I'm assuming even though it was very expensive, it still wasn't uh, a break the bank purchase. No, uh, Netflix would be, wouldn't it? Netflix would be. Netflix would be Bob Iger say, and Bob Iger's the CEO of Disney. It would be his tacit acknowledgement that all right, you know what? If you can't beat them, join them, and we're going to bite off something that's probably going to be too big to digest for a while. But this is the way the world is going. 